guys. It's Mother's Day weekend. Call your mother if you can. Um, this requires a special drink, right? It's May. For the most part, it's lovely outside most years. I guess this year, some of you are getting snow today, which is weird, but what's not weird about this year? So we are going to do a daiquiri, which you're probably thinking, you know, big, fluffy, frozen, irritating drinks with like a lot of strawberries in them. Well, and you wouldn't be wrong, that can be a daiquiri. But we're going to make the classic daiquiri and add a little twist to make it a little tropical and special. A daiquiri is just lime, simple syrup, and rum. So it's like the most simple, beautiful, lovely little drink. And it's kind of been, you know, as things are, it's grown over the years to be a little more commercialized and floofy and you can buy it in bags that are frozen and stuff like that. So this is the more toned down version of a daiquiri, but we're going to add pineapple chunks because that sounds amazing. Uh, I'm gonna do some pineapple juice, some chunks in a blender. The original daiquiri is shaken. It is not blended, but we're gonna make them in, uh, I'm gonna do them in these glasses. And I did some crushed ice, so you can see that. So we're gonna just make a big, fluffy, cold, lovely, yummy, pineapple, limey, rummy drink because we deserve it, moms out there. So if you're a mom, make this for yourself. If you have a mom, make it for your mom and deliver it to her front door and ring the doorbell and run, be a weirdo. Or you can toast one to your mom if you don't have one anymore. And I have a couple friends like that, so always toast your mom. It's a big day for moms. I'm a mom, but I consider this day for my mom. It's weird to be about me, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys feel that way. Let's get started on the daiquiri. We have my little blender cup. Uh, we're gonna build it in the blender. I put a few cubes of ice because my rum is warm. So I want everything nice and really cold and a little bit, you know, frothy. Um, I only had four limes, so I'm going to squeeze them all in there. I'm going to use a little bit of my lime juice, my little squeezy. And then I have simple syrup. We'll add the pineapple juice. We're just going to add, 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 blend, throw it over our ice cubes, and have the best drink in the world. This is Ernest Hemingway's favorite drink, by the way, which I'm sure, I'm sure you know, because who doesn't know that? No, the Hemingway is its own daiquiri, um, which I made a couple years ago. And it's a little weird because it includes maraschino liqueur, which I thought would be really tasty. And it's not, it tastes like a hay bale. So, but if you drink enough, which Hemingway did, they taste amazing. So, you know, make these how you want. You can add any fruit you want. I will not be opposed. Let's start with rum, light rum, not dark. Not spiced, light. That's Bacardi, um, which is the easiest one to work with. I'm gonna do a whole bunch. I'm making two drinks, right? So we're gonna do one, two, three. It's one drink. One, two, three. That's two drinks. And this for Hemingway. <laughs> so we just make it nice and strong. Lots of rum. Now we're gonna squeeze. I've been squeezing a lot of limes lately, guys. So, I need to find other drinks to make that don't require squeezed lime. All right. And I cut them into little quarters so it's faster and easier because, you know, this can get irritating. <laughs> and if you only do like half a lime and you squeeze it, if you're not like a meat paw, big old strong person, <laughs> You don't get all the juice out, so cut them as small as you need to get all the juice out. If you have little tiny baby hands, cut smaller pieces. Go squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Um, 
Yeah, so if you want to do a basic, basic, real good damp daiquiri, just do the lime. You don't have to add any other fruit. You will have a classic drink with sugar because, you know, you need sugar. This drink needs sugar for sure. Rum comes from sugar. Did you know that? It is fermented from the sugar cane. All right, this is looking good. You can see it's starting to fill up a little, which is good because these are really juicy, which is good. one was super juicy. So like I've said before, if you want to just buy a bottle of like this stuff, the little juicers, cool. If you go to the store and buy like a daiquiri, frozen daiquiri mix, that's fine, but it's going to be really, 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 really sweet. It's got that weird fake sweetness that they do to limes, like the popsicle sweet. Which, honestly, that's why a lot of people like daiquiris, so do it if you like it. But, if you want to go classic, you're going to want it to taste like rum. Okay, I'm going to squeeze some more lime juice in here because I don't think four limes is enough, but just lift it up. But, ooh, but I do have pineapple juice in here, so we're going to fill this sucker. So what I did is I got one of those like cans of pineapple, the crushed little, not crushed, sorry, little cut up pineapple. I separated it out because I don't know how this is going to be because I have not blended pineapple yet. So we're going to, you're going to learn with me. So I'm going to do some juice from the can into the mix. And then I do have these little extra juices. So I thought if it's not enough, I'll add that. Um, Still a lot of rum. Let's add it because we're doing two drinks. Always judge based on how many people you're trying to get drunk. There we go. Okay. That smells like a tropical vacation. We're going to put some chunks of pineapple in this because I want it like kind of pureed and weird. So. Pineapple chunks, right? Into the mix. I'm just gonna do a little scoop full because I don't I don't know, guys. You're gonna see it and we'll decide if it's a good idea or not. But let me puree this sucker. I'll do frap. Don't you like that one? Frap. <laughs> This looks so cool. I love, don't you just love blender drinks? They always look like super cool. Uh, this is looking really frothy. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So here's the deal with the daiquiri. It should be in one of those really cool, kind of like a hurricane glass or daiquiri glass. Uh, I'm doing them because I have these, I'm gonna do them in these. I put crushed ice because I want it really cold and to feel kind of like a frozen drink, but it's not. Um, if you want, you can do like a martini glass with this, just this, no ice, and it would be really pretty, nice presentation for your mama or for you if you're just sitting at home and want this. So, you know, whatever, whatever. This is beautiful. So we're going to pour it. Uh, I think that's all I need, yeah. Oh, you know what I forgot? Hold on. I forgot the most important part. We're going to redo this. Simple syrup. You're like, what is that jar? This is simple syrup. So let's pour in, because we had all the limes, the pineapple juice is actually going to make it sweet, but let's do like a, I would say a shot of simple syrup. So I just did like a three count. That's going to give it that extra sweetness. <laughs> Don't forget that because... You'll be like, your drink sucks, Laura, and it's because you forgot the simple syrup. So let's do it. <laughs> there we go. 
This should be much tastier. All right. Here's hoping. I'm going to pour. It's so pretty. Daiquiris are lovely. They just make you feel like you're on vacation. And I always like feeling like I'm on vacation. So that's what I that's what I make my drinks based on. Okay. Nice and fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. So in place of pineapple, let's say you hate pineapple. You could do mango, orange, banana, any like tropical fruits. You could do blackberries. If you have something sitting around and you want to throw it in the blender with rum, sugar, lime juice, it's going to be a daiquiri and it's going to be amazing. So that'll be good. I'm going to try this. Okay, and also there's no chunks of pineapple left in this, so you could do more if you wanted. Um, I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out. It turned out really good, so they, they blend well. Oh, this is so refreshing. That is friggin' good. Pardon my expression. Um, I want to garnish because you always garnish. So, pineapple, normal garnish. If you have real pineapple, even better. You can cut it. I don't understand how you cut a pineapple. I'm afraid of them. So if you understand it, do it. Don't cut your hand off because that's what I always think happens when you cut a pineapple. But this is Mother's Day, right? So I took little fake flowers, clean them. If they're in your house, clean them first. Um, took little fake flowers. And I figured you could kind of plop it on there with the pineapple. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, isn't that cute? So it looks, you know, tropical, fun, like your mom. Your mom. You can do mom jokes with this too, but I won't. I won't mom, because she watches these. All right. Ah, oh, these are pretty and they taste like heaven. So look at that. Look at a beautiful drink. And it's all because of the flower. That's all that did it. I love these. So make daiquiris. Enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday with your mom. If this sounds like too much, make a mimosa and you'll be happy. Okay? Champagne, orange juice, call it a day. Otherwise, daiquiris, daiquiris, daiquiris. Do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.